Yo, what's up everybody? It's been a couple weeks um, here on Camp Pendleton going for a little afternoon hunt and um, this is my second, second or third time hunting on Camp Pendleton and one thing that's quick to realize is always have like 18 backup plans because I had so I had two plans ideally and both of them got shut down real quick so I'll show you guys in a second there are areas within Camp Pendleton that you can hunt, right? And each area is closed off for certain things. So as an archer, um, it's almost everything's open to archery. I mean, I don't know how well you can see me, but almost everything's open to archery. But if there are riflemen in the same area, it requires you as an archer to wear hunter orange. This is my first year hunting and just off the bat, um, I see that's gonna be extremely difficult to do, especially stalking. Maybe this will help. Yeah, a little bit. So especially stalking as a bow hunter, you know, you have to get within 50 yards to get like a, or 60, depending on how good you are, like a really good shot, right? So wearing this, this, this vest I have right here. So I'll be wearing this bad boy because there are area, there are people in the area um, that are shotgun hunting for deer also. So, you know, orange, whatever, lets them know you're there. It's easy for them to see. But I haven't done much research on it. I just did a real quick Google search and it says deer don't see orange like we see orange. They most likely see a gray or a black, but this orange has reflective tape all freaking over it. So I look like a construction worker on the side of the road. But I mean, I'm out. I don't know how many other times I'm going to be able to hunt later this year. Um, there's Veterans Day, but I got a baby appointment on Veterans Day. So we're going to this area. We're going to the Mike area right now. I originally had, like I said, two plans originally. I had Mike area, November area. November is closed. The spot I went last time where I saw those books as well is also closed. They did some artillery training and two rounds fell short. So they completely closed off those areas. And anyway, there are a bunch of riflemen out there too. So we're going to this Mike area. There's an archery only area called SMR1 but there's absolutely no leverage points. There's no hills I could climb to look down. It's just a lot of thick bush, like thick bush from what Google Earth has showed me. So we're on our way to Mike area. I'll update you when we get there. Um, last shot today is at 520, I think. So it's gonna be an extremely short hunt, but um, I'm just getting out. I wanna get a look at the area, maybe future reference. So uh, yeah, stand by, it's gonna be a, uh, interesting day can't say it's gonna be exciting but the exciting thing is my mustache is looking extremely thick so let's enjoy that for a second all right all right see you guys when we get out of the car and we're all set up well yeah that's where we're going way up there all right there's a sign over here let's see what it says hopefully it doesn't say nuclear bombs in the area let's hope not so as you're looking at these uh hills you know, it's just a big hill, so I'm not a mountain, but when you look at these bitches from the street, you're like, oh, that's not too bad. Until you get on them. Like, holy crap. Like, I'm coming up on an incline. Oh, and I'm not tired, but yeah, it's gonna, this one might suck, but gotta get them legs loose. Oh. Not looking too bad. Should open up over this ridge. Like to like a big valley. Okay, <laughs> we're at the first peak. Um, good view, opens up, ocean view, all that shit. <sighs> okay, this is the area I was gonna hunt, but there's no leverage points, so check it out. It's all up in there, all right? It goes all the way back. That's the ocean, obviously. But they said there's a bunch of deer in there, but like I said, there's no leverage. Some over here, a little bit of a vantage point. So, bust out the binos, check it out. See if we get anything moving. Not to get a, a good angle too. Okay, could be the first scouting spot, but like I said, as it opens up back here. I might sit down for a sec. I just don't see too much cover. I mean, up in here, sure, but. Okay, scouting at spot number one. Um, I haven't seen anything, I've been here for about, you know, only about 10 minutes, but one thing I forgot to mention was, man, you guys can't see my face. One thing, I just looks, looks better with the hat. <laughs> one thing I forgot to mention was, um, 
I talked to the game warden, and um, he said that come what January, February, they're gonna have a, a doe problem. So uh, Camp Pendleton's open for either sex deer. So he said come early next year that there'll probably be too many does, and um, the food is gonna be very scarce for them. So if I could get a doe, he said, please help us out. So I guess meat's meat, right? It's the whole point of this hunting is for meat. You know, trophy hunt, hunt for food. Well, it's food for thought, no pun intended. <laughs> but uh, I'm probably gonna get up and move here in a second, check out another spot. Don't got much time. I don't even know what time it is, but probably got another hour and a half or two hours to hunt since I came so late in the afternoon. Keep y'all posted. Oh, this is, check out the scouting spot. So this is where I've been looking. See if I catch someone behind one of these bushes. Cause there's a little bit of shade, so I'm looking all up and in here. So, I'm noticing um, a lot of uh, the poop. <laughs> no, it's like weird, it's like coyote slash dog shit. Like, if it is a coyote, it's the biggest coyote I've ever seen based on poop. So I'm noticing a lot of deer trails, but I haven't seen any fresh scat. Um, and you know, if it's fresh, it's obviously a little bit blacker, but the ones I've been noticing are all uh, like white, so which means it's been there for a long time. But um, I'm gonna keep walking a little bit and look back to where I just walked from based on where the sun is. Because on the left side over here, it's a big drop off and there are a bunch of bushes there. So it's out of the sun, it's cool. Wait, it's like 80 degrees right now, but it doesn't feel like it for sure. All right, keep updating you guys when I can. Um, nothing yet. So I've been seeing Shells everywhere. It's pretty crazy. Um, I saw a documentary one time where they were talking about how the Grand Canyon was one time under the ocean. And that's pretty crazy to think about. So naturally just being, you know, I mean, shoot, the ocean's right behind me. <clears throat> so all this was probably underwater one time too, obviously. Pretty cool thing about, saw, I'm seeing a lot of shells, so. All right, cruising up on our next little spot. Let's see if we can get a good leverage point. All right, I just found something. Let's see if I, let's see if I get on camera. All right, so it was a coyote. Um, I don't know if deer would be around if that is. It's pretty small. Actually, you know, it actually look like a big coyote, but I don't know if I'm allowed to hunt coyote. Might be able to, but would I eat it? You know, it's pretty close to a dog, so. Uh... All right, it's gonna be hard to see, but we got two. It might be a doe and a fawn. They're bouncing up the hill, and there's a little. Hello. Survival of the fittest. Okay, so it's crossing the road right now. <sighs> Decisions. <sighs> okay, I found one. Um, it's across this valley. I highly, you guys won't be able to see it, but trust me, it's a, it's a little guy. I can't tell if it's a fawn or a doe or just a little dude. But um, yeah, let's see. I'm gonna try to get you to see it. I don't think it's seen me yet since it's sitting still. So. So definitely a fawn. Uh, I found its mom. Its mom's up and in the bush. They don't know I'm here yet. I don't know if it's the same one from before, most likely, but I'm just gonna watch. Maybe um, maybe the dude will show up. Maybe that father that left them will come back and start paying child support. You know, start being a part of the child's life, you know? Hopefully. And then I'll kill the dad, and then there'll be a single mom and child again.
they're feeding on right now, so future reference, but I mean, the sun's going down. I don't have much time. I have. I'm not too far from the road. Like, I'm not 100% sure it's a doe. It could be a buck, and the doe could be behind it. Oh. Yeah, oh, and apparently the rut here starts, already went through. They have two ruts. We have two ruts in the Cal Southern California. That's what the game warden said, so I don't know. There's a fly. Right, so I'm pretty t pretty sure I told you why I'm wearing this vest, right? Because there are people shooting shotguns in the area. Two shots just went off, literally right over the ridge where I saw the deer. Um, I think, who knows, everything echoes around here, but it's pretty close and it was pretty loud, so. Yeah. Good to know there's a dude with a shotgun running around here in the same area as me. Well, this area itself is huge. Oh, I forgot to show you the map. I'll show you the map when I get back to the car. But that mic area I'm in is huge. Um, so to know there's someone possibly like within a mile away is kind of crazy. Like I'd say this this area is probably like, I don't know, 15 square miles. I don't know if it's bigger or not, but. <laughs> All right, glassing real quick and I'm gonna keep on moving. Only got about 45 minutes till sunset. Found another doe. Um, it's bedded down by itself. I don't see any kids around. Um, it's far though. Like, look, it's all the way over there across this big ass valley. Yeah, I ain't gonna make that. <laughs> That's a good sign for future though. Like, they're over here. They probably cross the street at night and get some water. There's um, water over there, I believe. Or there's a lake back here or something. But all right, let's keep looking. And the sun is officially down. Well, it's over the mountain ridge. Probably got another like five minutes. Um, yeah, good hunt, walking to the car. Not on the trail. Found some fresh de deer poop in the area, but at least I know there are deer in this area, so that's super helpful. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys what I uh, what I mean. I didn't forget about the zones for Camp Pendleton. There's like a little booklet. It's a, it's a topographic booklet, and it is literally the worst booklet ever. Like to give you an idea, like rolling hills and all that stuff. Worst thing ever. But all right, see you guys at the car. is racing right now. So there are bison on Camp Pendleton, I know this, but I didn't know they were on this side. I took a picture of some bison shit. Oh, dude. Dude. 
This thing doesn't. Yeah, I'm on Camp Hampton, a marine base. There are wild bison here. This is effing crazy. I would totally shoot if I was allowed to. Oh, I was getting a back scratch on. That's cute. Alright, so that's what. Damn, there's bison shit everywhere over here. All right, 50 yards away. It's crazy because it's just sticking to this road up here. Like this is where I could have parked my car. 50 yards away and oh uh, yeah, there's a bunch of bison crap out here. I don't know if I just said that. My heart's racing though. Crazy. And it's looking at me. And it looked away. And I don't know what's doing. I'm waiting. This thing is crazy. I mean, I'm 50 yards away, it doesn't look that big, but I'm sure if I stood next to it, it is. All right, I'm leaving. I don't want to turn my back. Oh shit, it's coming my way. I don't know how fast bison are, but I'm not trying to find out. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it is eyeing me down. <laughs> oh my god. And never, I mean, yeah, I hunt out here and everything, but I never thought I'd see a bison like this. Uh, they're only in the other ranges. Wow. That's cool, man. All right, guys, back in the car. Um, man, how crazy was that? That bison. I confirmed it was a bison too, not a buffalo. All right, so here is the areas of hunting for Camp Pendleton, like I said, all right? I think methane's at hunting areas, okay? So um, the first time I went out with my buddy Alex, we were over here in the P1 area, but this time I was down here in the Mike area, all right? I mean, it doesn't look as big as I thought it was. November's way bigger, but yeah, so, okay. So the warden, when I was on the phone with them yesterday, recommended SMR1, but it's all flat. It's like tree standish kind of hunting. And there's no leverage point. All there are hills right here on this side that you could look into, but you'd have to go over here. So Mike was the option. There are a couple of shotgun people, as I mentioned earlier today. So check out this high def. Like these these wardens paid a lot of money to get this um, to get this uh, printed out. So let's just look at the mic area. Just pop a three X-ray. Probably goes in alphabetical order. All right. So boom. Look at that. Look how detailed it is. Look how amazing that is. So here's the mic area that I hunted today. Obviously, it's highlighted by the green. Um, so I went pretty far back there. Man, I don't even know if I really did, to be honest with you. So okay, so I hiked up this fire break. That's that was the area I was in. I think it was way over there. So yeah, and um, this is where I saw the buffalo. Let's see, here's the road. Yeah, so I saw the buffalo like right here. Yeah, that's the area I hunted today. It goes way back. The golf course is back here too, as you can see. So uh, pretty big area. Um, interesting to show that there's some lakes here. But yep, that's that. Um, yeah, check out when you got with you guys when I get home. All right, guys, back at the house. Uh, got the Rangers game on. About to eat this pizza. Got the wife over here in a robe. She's probably gonna hate me for that later. Um, good hunt today. I mean. In all things considering, I was only out there for, what, two and a half hours. I saw a coyote, saw two does, two fawns, and a freaking bison in two and a half hours, three hours. Pretty crazy. Obviously, didn't get the shot I wanted. Um, but overall, I mean, it was a good day. It was a productive day. I had fun. Found another spot on Camp Pendleton I'm able to hunt. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you drop a comment. And of course, make sure you click that little subscribe button, wherever it's going to be. Check you guys next time. Um, don't know when I'm going to be out next. Maybe Monday. Me and Chloe have a very important appointment on Monday, so can't guarantee nothing. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace. What are the eyes? We'd even me. What does it mean? It's meant to be. Why hug a wall? Why hold a seat? Not for nothing, but it ain't nothing for us to dip out this club right now.